Alright guys, so we have fantastic news here. It looks like we have our first sighting of the ultrasonic sensors being fully replaced by Tesla Vision. But before we get into that, let's talk about what Occupy Mara has gone into. The progress of the rebuild has gone well so far and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you guys check out. I'll drop a link right up top there as well as the description below. But this person here is rebuilding a salvaged Tesla and it looks like everything is working just as planned. But throughout the rebuild, we did notice one fantastic thing here and that has to be that Tesla Vision is finally taking over the ultrasonic sensors. So for those of you guys that have purely the Tesla Vision without ultrasonic sensors, it looks like we are getting very close here. So for those of you guys that have purely Tesla Vision and don't have ultrasonic sensors, it looks like you guys are near to the point where you're gonna get everything activated as they were before. As Occupy is near the completion of their vehicle, it looks like ultrasonic sensors are no longer used and Tesla Vision has taken over completely. And it seems to be taking distance and measurements into consideration even though everything is disconnected. Now, if you guys haven't watched the previous video or followed Occupy Mars on Twitter, it did show that they tried everything to make sure that it was only and purely Tesla Vision that is measuring the distances. So they went ahead and they unplugged the ultrasonic sensors and they made sure that the radar system is completely unplugged as well. And then stepping inside of the vehicle, everything was being measured completely perfectly. So they went ahead and they duct taped the front and the B pillar camera. And this was the only time that it was no longer are taking proximity and measurement from the vehicles on its side. So what this means is that vehicles with ultrasonic sensors also rely on Tesla Vision working side by side to collect data and make sure they're matching up with each other. Tesla Vision is essentially running in the background right now in shadow mode just as the radar was back in the days if you guys can remember when they were doing the removal of the radar system. So same thing is happening here and it seems like they are almost ready. It's almost 99% right now from what I can see because if you guys just take a peek inside and outside of the vehicle when they were doing the video testing, it seemed like the measurements were taking a very, very close to what it is in real life. Now on the note of testing everything, there was another user that had inspiration from Occupy Mars and this time they tested it on their own vehicle and it seems like it was behaving exactly like it did for their Model 3. The only difference this time is that they were parked in a parkade underground and there were tons of cars on its side and front and back but that didn't really matter because they blocked off the ultrasonic sensors and Tesla Vision completely took over. But the only caveat to this is that they blocked the front with a thick tape instead of any kind of foil or metal. So a lot of recommendations told them to come back and redo the test again. And they will be doing this again and I'll keep you guys updated and in the loop. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe and that bell notification so as soon as I hear anything or see anything, I'll make a video and update you guys as well. But in my opinion, I do think that the duct tape was thick enough and Tesla Vision did completely take over just because I've had experiences where snow and a little bit of dirt already blocked off the ultrasonic sensors. So definitely a thick layer of tape is going to be enough to block off the measurements and the waves from going through. In the end, it's just trying to track whatever objects in front of it and having tape or a thick piece of anything is going to be enough to make it into an object. But anyways, like I said, the test is going to be redone. So I'll give you guys an update either on here on Twitter, wherever it is. So make sure you guys follow. But here now we're going on to the juicy stuff and it seems like we finally got our first glimpse of a 2023 non-ultrasonic sensor vehicle being activated with Tesla Vision. All right, so this vehicle owner is based in Poland. They were giving a test drive and during the test drive, it seemed like it activated the sensors even though they don't have any sensors. So they quickly pulled over and took a picture of it and it seems like it measured the proximity and it measured the distances between each vehicle. In this case, it shows that the back bumper is 65 centimeters away from an object. For those of you guys that are doubting this image, Take a look at the top right side. It does show that they are in Europe solely based on the fact that the speed limit is a circular design with a red around it and the speed right in the middle. Whereas in North America, it's a rectangle or a square with the speed right in the center as well. And then the obvious thing is all the text at the bottom is in Polish. So you guys know that if we're in North America, the majority of us here probably speak English. We're not gonna change our language unless you completely don't speak English at all. But on top of that, they even provided their VIN to reconfirm that this was a 2023 model. But if you guys just quickly take a look at the bottom card there, it also shows that this car has only been driven 2,000 kilometers. So if you think about it, no 2022 car, unless you purchased it in November or December, is going to have 2,000 kilometer, especially when it's a Tesla. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. And it definitely gives us high hope that in the next software update that this feature is going to be activated for the rest of us. 
I know how frustrating it has been because a lot of people solely rely on the ultrasonic sensors to not crash into objects within their garage, within parkades and other tight fit areas. So the fact that they removed it before the software is available with Tesla Vision is quite frustrating for everyone. And I do completely understand how you guys feel. But you know what, just suck it up and use the cameras for now. There's a lot of people out there driving without any cameras or any sensors at all. So anyways guys, this should wrap it up for this video. Definitely hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you guys haven't done so already. I'll keep you guys as updated as possible. And we also have Investor's Day coming up, so very exciting stuff. Um, just so you guys know, anything you guys comment below, I will be responding to. It might not be immediate but it'll be minutes or hours after. As soon as I see it, I'll respond to it. Just don't make it too stupid. But anyways, guys, this should be it. This is John once again. Peace out.